Hello, my name is Ector, and in today's build tutorial, we're going to learn how to build this small medieval house. So let's get straight into it. Okay, to build this, you need these materials in my hotbar. You can, of course, change them now. To begin with, you need to build a pillar four blocks high, then go over one, two, three, four, five, and build another one four high. Turn around, uh, leave a gap of three this time, and go up four again, and then do the same, a gap of three and then four high, and that's the side, and then round the back you can do another gap of five, so it should line up with the first pillar that we built, and then uh, do the one in the middle, like a so. There we have it, and now put in the horizontal bars uh, in everywhere, across everything. And then, at the end, you just add these little stumps on all the edges. Like so. Okay, now you want to get your wall material. I'm using spruce planks. And just go one block inside. Uh, just, you know, one in like that. And then uh, just build it up, basically. And we're going to leave a two block high gap. That's for the door on this side. And then on the sides... Uh, come around uh, and go up like this, then you'll see we'll have a one wide gap, and that's for the windows. So go all the way around, uh, but leaving two window gaps at the back. Like that. Then you want to get your cobblestone stairs and just place one at the base of every uh, wooden oak post. Now you want to put upside down stairs at the tops in the exact same places that you put the, uh, the stairs before. Like that. Now, uh, if we go around to the side, you want to put upside down stairs on the sides like this just to form like a little kind of, I, I don't know, like banister. Not banister, shelf. Shelf? You know what I mean. Anyway, we just go around the sides and the back <clears throat> and then at the front put two like this and then two like that and there we have it now to um, start the roof you put two blocks here like that and then two at the back as well and that's just on one outside not on the kind of inner edge um, but there and then we're gonna do the roof pattern and the roof pattern kind of goes like we repeat it four times so it starts with cobblestone uh, stairs like that and then upside down stairs the other way and that repeats four times okay so stairs like that and then upside down okay so that's two one more uh, there and upside down and then last one we change ever so slightly so we have the stairs like that and then rather than sideways we kind of face the front upside down stairs like that there we have it and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, I'll do it one more time with you, just so you can, you'll definitely get it. Oh, and I messed up there. Um, there we go. Upside down, cobblestone, cobblestone, uh, and stairs, and upside down stairs, and then cobblestone, stairs, and upside down stairs, and then cobblestone, like that. And then we do it again. And then once you have that, uh, what I want you to do is put some stairs just at the base there and go all the way along. So just normal stairs. Like that. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Like so. And then get uh, cobblestone slabs. And you want to just put it in the middle there, in between on the top part of the wood. Just to cover that gap. Not nothing at the back, uh, just the sides, like that. Now what you want to do is just get your wall material again and just kind of fill up uh, the space here, just at the front of the roof, like that. And then you basically so you'll get something like that, uh, and then we do the exact same thing at the back. And 
and you'll get something like that. Now what you're going to do is um, just kind of follow, you know, what, whatever kind of, so we'll start with blocks, so you go a block there, so you you do blocks, then we have stairs here, so you use stairs, so you just fill in the rest of the roof like that. Blocks there, so we put blocks, and like that, and then stairs. Very simple, nice and easy, and you just kind of follow the pattern basically. Like that, and then you do the same on the other side. Okay, now you have that, you just finish off the top of the roof, put some stairs like that, and then like that, and do that at the back as well. You can just leave it like that if you wanted, but I kind of like adding that upside down stair as well. And then get some slabs and just fill it up. Like that. Uh, and then we, we're going to put in the windows at the front here, so uh, go one in the middle just like that on that block yeah it's about the middle and then one up one down take out and put in fences I use fences for windows because in medieval times glass would have been very expensive um, so fences I think works really nice and it just gives it a little bit more texture you know yeah uh, so we can put we can put in oh these stairs as well just to finish that off and I think that really does uh, go nice and then just add a bit more texture we're going to put signs across so just below where the window is all the way across and then at the top as well there's just three little bits there and again that just gives it a little bit more kind of texture um, and then put in more windows And there we have that. It's looking good now. And now we're just going to add some stone buttons to these uh, wood logs here. And that, again, it just adds a little bit more detail. And you could, of course, use wooden buttons. There we have it. And that is pretty much the um, kind of outside done. So we'll kind of have a look at the inside here. And there's, you know, not too much space, but we can actually get quite a lot in. So we start by putting... Um, upside down stairs in these places here so basically wherever there's like a little space and then do the same on the other side like that I'm gonna add a little bit of light here so you guys can see a little bit better and there we go so there you can see and now I add a, a wooden beam at the top here, just, it kind of adds a little bit of realism, just to make it look like it had some kind of su support structure, like that. Yeah, I like that. Well, that's good. Um, so, fill in the sides here with cobble. Nice and simple. I'm going to add some chests there, so it won't look too ugly. And then, on the sides here, we're going to add uh, a rim of uh, of upside down spruce. Again, I'm using spruce. You can use whatever. There we go. Like that, like that, and then we can fill these gaps up here, nice and simple. Pop that there, and I uh, I just use ladders. You could, I suppose, make a stairway, but there's not that much space, so stairs are preferred. And then we have a nice upstairs bit, and you can fill these bits in here. And there we have it. And then here, we're going to use some spruce slabs. Where are they? There. Very nice. And done, like that. So if you want to add a little uh, outside window, just like that, this is how you go about doing it. Uh, on on this, just above the first set of stairs there, right in the middle, you just take out these six blocks. Nice and simple. Then stairs like that, and then upside down. Same on the other side. Uh, then stairs going this way. Kind of stair, upside down stair in the middle, and then we do the same like on the upstairs roof bit, and just 
build that pattern and then there you have it nice and simple very easy very very easy to to put in and there you have the outside pretty much done so inside now uh, just knock these ones out like so and then knock these three out as well this is just what I do you can of course change what you do I put in two stairs like this then an, a connecting stair and you could just leave it like this uh, I put a kind of windowsill type thing in here like this and again you could just leave it like that looks looks pretty good still uh, but I knock out those stairs and put in just kind of four blocks like that and there we have it so if we go have a look at uh, just put a door in whilst I still remember like that nice and simple looks very good if we go have a look at my finished one you can see I've put kind of stone bricks in I've put there's four chests in here I've got you know anvil some bookcases uh, crafting table you know furnace you can still fit quite a, a good amount in um, some torches and then upstairs uh, I've fit in quite a few chests under there a uh, bed and then the same kind of chest and then I've put some more shelves with even more chests on so actually you can do quite a lot with the space I think but there you have it that's pretty much the uh, the build complete and of course if you did want to make the build larger then of course you can here you can see I've kind of basically doubled uh, the kind of build so you can always make these builds a bit bigger you know space it out a little bit farther apart and you will get a bigger build but the kind of the basics will still work out so nice and easy can easily be done if you want a bigger medieval house but there you go i hope you enjoyed this uh how to build a small medieval house tutorial if you did a like or comment is always very much appreciated and if there's something else that you'd like to see me do a tutorial on then let me know in the comments as for me i've been Hector. this has been a small medieval house and i'll see you next time bye bye